everyone. Happy Sunday. Hello, hello. Uh, let me know if you can hear me and see me. All that good stuff. Let me know if anybody's here. Happy Sunday. I said that already. Hello, Vicky and Raven and Ina. Hello, hello. Get me to trim this one a little bit. Just a little. Hello, Christoph. And Catherine can see in here. Fabulous. I like it when things work the way they're supposed to. So I am messing around for a few minutes while people come in. Hey Lisa and Marcy, happy Sunday. I have had I, I have some a box of papers, handmade papers, that I've had for a long time. I'm afraid to use them. You know, same old, same old. And I got a couple more little tiny pieces. I thought they'd be kind of fun as a little mini book. I got, I, I did get um, these soap boxes from the hotel and I have quite a few of those saved I've got people that give them to me and so I thought it was about time that I used one Ooh, look at that gold that's cool I need to use one or two or all of them and I thought I I'm just gonna mess around today I am just going to I'm just gonna relax. Hi Filda, hi Kiki, hi Mary Mariel, hi Emma. Hi Scotty. Hi Diana, little mini books. Uh, I've got some ideas of some things that I want to do. My my madness is continuing with the com apartment complex and um, I don't really want to get all worked up about it again. Uh, there's not, not a lot I can do about the whole thing. They're going to do it before the 31st of March. No matter how much I complain and say no. So my major thing with that is the fact that the kitchen is so small, so small that I can stand in the middle of the kitchen and touch every cabinet in the entire kitchen. It's the entire cabinet. Hey Verify. Hi, Just, Cheryl, hello, hello, um, I miss anybody, and so I had a really rough time moving in, and I don't have a lot of dishes, I have a, one set of dishes, I don't even have a nice set of dishes, you know, I have one set that I use every day, some glasses, three wine glasses you know nothing major there's not enough room in the kitchen for what little bit of stuff I have and you know I don't cook a lot so I don't have a lot of stuff I mean I don't have you know I do have a crock pot and there's no room for it in the kitchen um, absolutely none so um, hi Anne so glad to see you and so they have decided that, you know, Mike, the, 
the cabinets are packed with my th what little bit of stuff I have. And part of their renovation is removing, removing, not replacing, removing, it's almost half of the cupboard space. They want to open up the space between the dining room and the kitchen, which means they're taking out all those cupboards and they're not replacing them. So I'm like, I have to box everything up, get it all out of the way, and there is no room for it, so I'll have to live with the boxes until I move. So I'm, I'm over it, whatever. I'm over it. I think this is enough pieces of paper. I'm trying to do the little box first, I think. And I have measured my piece of paper. Let me just go through this last little bit. That's a kind of an interesting little piece right there. Yes. Yes. So I am just, I'm whatever. It's, it's, it's <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Hi, Debbie. Hi, hi, Dixie. I haven't seen you in a while. I need to turn on my fan. It's getting a little bit warm. It's kind of dreary and rainy outside, so it's dark, but it's not cold. So I am, I think I'm going to do this poor little box that kind of got smunched in the travels. Let me do the little tiny one first. And all it is is just just a soap box. Uh, and so I'm going to prepare it so I can see how many papers it will hold. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these fun little papers in here. And I might stamp a little bit on them. Let's miss, make a book. Let's make a book and stop worrying about tripping over packed boxes because there's no place in, in the kitchen to put stuff. <laughs> right? So I'm going to cut off all these tabs. Cut off all the tabs. How is everybody doing? everyone let's see and I think what I'm gonna do is cover this in I've got a couple projects I kind of want to touch on today and I've got some happy mail hello Mary I've got some happy mail this is my box of handmade papers and Joss papers and stuff that I've had for a long time and it's just too cool to use, you know, that stuff. I pulled this out probably it's been more than a year ago and I wanted to do a kind of paper lovers kind of book where I put all these kinds of um, papers in a book just so because I don't really want to paint on them they, a lot of these papers don't take paint very well I don't really want to paint on them but they're really cool look at this embossed thing here isn't that it's just cool I don't necessarily want to do anything with them I don't necessarily want to put paint on them or but I just want to visit them every once in a while so but I haven't I haven't got the courage to actually start folding things in half and putting them into signatures yet I haven't got there yet I will get there I think because that's what I really want to do with some of this stuff that's a kind of a cool little piece of paper too and so is that I so I'm starting small with the little bits that I really can't do a whole lot with anyway. So let me make a little small tiny tiny book and play and look at that and enjoy it for a little bit. Here's another one of those embossed pieces. This is just parts of my 
scraps that I had actually tried to use some of the stuff in other projects and um, put the scraps back in here. So I am trying to use it. I'm thinking I've got a great big huge piece of paper of this and I think, oh it's going to show through. I think I might use this to cover since I'm not really painting on the papers. I am thinking that I don't really want to paint the cover, but I don't want it to be, I don't want the words to show through either. Hi Sherry. Hi Claudette. All right, let me keep up with chat here. Hey, <laughs> you want to grab a handful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I paper Drake. You haven't got a lot of time tonight. You're still catching up after the flu. I am trying to catch up as well. Um, like I, like I said, my madness it continues. Um, I've got air conditioning issues, and I need maintenance to fix some of this stuff. I'm trying to see where the box joins and if I don't really need it really sturdy but I want the spine sturdy enough so that I can sew the signature on there so I'm thinking I might just glue this little bit in the spine so it's nice and sturdy and I think I will do that. Just a little bit of glue. Hey Clara. Okay that one is needs to be dug out. And this is just a tiny little book so it doesn't need Um, really a lot of glue. Um, this is really thin paper. It doesn't have to be anything really strong. And so I'm trying to deal with them. I need them to, and they haven't fixed my plumbing yet either. My toilet runs since I moved in here. It didn't run enough to do anything about when I first got here. Um, but it's annoying, so I want them to fix that. There's air in the pipe, so that's noisy. And my air conditioning needs to be cleaned. It's just so fight, fight, fight. I'm not. I'm tired of fighting. I hate fighting. I hate fighting. Okay, so this piece of paper here, I think, is about the right size. Nope, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, I need to trim it just a little bit on this side so it will fit into this cover. So then I know that I need pieces of paper that are this size or smaller. That's good. So I can judge if these papers need to be trimmed by that and I bet that does by a little bit so let me trim off a little bit here and just a little bit on the top I don't want all the pages to be exactly the same size I think it makes it a little bit more interesting if they're all different Were there any painters killed in the process? Um, I I am no, I'm still just fighting with them to take care of regular maintenance stuff. I was looking at my air conditioner and looked at the maintenance you know that they write down 
dates for when it's been serviced and um, checkups or inspections, all that good stuff. It's written right there on the inside of the air conditioner. Um, the la it was installed in 93 and the last inspection that was written down here was 1999. So I'm a little upset about that. Don't know if it's been inspected. I don't know if it's ever been cleaned since then. I don't know what's going on. And I am not real happy about the whole thing. So they're all worried about replacing all the appliances that are perfectly good. They're, they're, I have no complaints at all with the appliances that are here. Uh, they do not need to be replaced and thrown in the dumpster that they've got out here. They're perfectly good. But yet they don't want to, I don't want to, I like that little bit right there. I don't, yes, so here I, I'm getting myself all worked up again. Yeah, they don't want to fix anything that can't be seen. They want everything that can be seen all nice and pretty so they can raise the rents and get people in here without them knowing that the plumbing is horrible and the air conditioner is making them sick and all that stuff. So I, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit now. All right. So. So I am going to be pretty busy here packing stuff up and I need to do my taxes too. I'm not going to throw that little bit away, but it's kind of an itsy bitsy little tiny piece. So I'm going to do some little projects. Um, please bear with me just a little bit as I, that's still too long, isn't it? Maneuver my way around this um, maintenance workers and, and, and all this stuff. I, you know, I have no idea how bad it's going to be, but, you know. And so I have to stop doing whatever I'm doing when they're here because I can't make videos with noise in the background. Not like that. Not that I could really work with somebody lurking about. It tends to make me a little nervous having people in the house, so... So please bear with me. This month is just going to be a little rough for me. I'm going to try to get as many videos out as I can. I will continue to live stream. And I will let you know if anything changes. Hey, Debbie. Going from a five-bedroom to a three-bedroom. Ooh. I am responsible for my own utilities. Oh, you mean maintained? Yes, I know. I, yeah, yeah, I do. We, I pay the water bill. I pay the electric. Yes, yes. It's all, yeah, they don't care because they don't have to pay for the extra costs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to fold all these papers in half. So then I have some idea. Uh, is this the way it's supposed to go? I have some idea of how many I've got and how thick the signatures are. Let me put them over here. Oh, before I do that, I think I do want to use this handmade strip, but I don't want the words to show. So I am going to put some paint, some white paint over all that it's probably going to need a couple coats it looks like uh, 
Purple coats. Hi, Carrie. I am working with, I think these are mostly mulberry papers. They are some little scraps of stuff, so I don't really know exactly what some of this stuff is. I've had a lot of it for years and years. Michaels used to sell packages of handmade papers. They were big packages, like 12 by 12 size packages, but this, the, the papers that were inside of the packages were um, smaller. They were small bits and pieces. Uh, they weren't 12 by 12. They were all small, but the package was huge. It was $20, and I used to use a coupon for it. Let me get this paint up. And I loved that, but they stopped doing that at least 10 years ago. I haven't seen any in forever. I haven't seen any of that. Okay, so let's, I'm going to have to put a couple of coats of that on. Why isn't this covering it? It's white acrylic paint. It should be covering it, right? I might have to glue some white paper on there. All right. So continuing to fold my papers in half. I haven't seen these, these scrap things at Michael's since probably 2006. I think they just stopped. I don't think they, I think I was the only person buying them actually, because um, it didn't seem like they moved very much between the times I bought them. I bought at least three packs of them, and I love them. Um, some of those embossed pa papers, the box that I was digging in, the, the, most all those came from these packs. And so I didn't, you know, there were all various different kinds of papers in there. So I didn't always know what they were, um, or what they're made of, or some of them are painted, some of them are embossed, some of them are mulberry papers, and some of them are, um, yeah, they're all so different. So they have to be made of different things because some are thicker than others. This is such a little piece. I don't know. I'm not going to put that in because if I sew it in, I might not only I might only catch one of the so it it might not be very secure in the book. So, I'm going to not put that one in. Yeah, like I said, Vicky, these these were you have a stack of these too, Emma. These are fun. Okay, so here's here's my thing as I'm waiting for this to dry so I can put a couple more coats on it. Let me put the signature together. See if I've got enough papers to go into it. I, with all this stuff going on, I wanted to have just a, a, some little projects just to de-stress with. Um, part of those, of course, is going to be some of the glue books that I've started. But I wanted to do some, some more art journaling. And so what I was thinking was, and I should show it to you while I'm talking about it. Oh, and also what I need to do is do the happy mail. Let me fold these really fast. Since I've got them all out here. Happy Mail. You remember buying them too? Yeah, I had, yeah. And they were really cool papers. I can rifle through my box so you can see these cool papers. Except you can't find them anymore at Michael's. So, I mean, I don't want to tease anybody they are really cool. I love different kinds of papers. 
And so I wanted to put together an art journal with different kinds of papers, not only drawing paper and sketch paper, watercolor paper, those kinds of things, but also handmade papers and tracing paper and scrapbook paper. And so I put together I gathered together some papers and I'm going to make the signature today so that I can start working in it when I get a chance between all my nonsense. Okay, I, that paint is not covering anything. What's up with that, people? What's up? What's, what, what's up with that? Um, you remember buying them too? I have had them for 15 years plus. I can't make myself do anything with them. I just love looking at them. So I don't know. So that's three, four, five, six. That one didn't get folded. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm not, I didn't count them, so instead of counting all of them, I'm going to just put them together until I've got enough. Does that sound lazy? Because it is four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. So I'll just add, keep adding one to each one. Until, oops, wrong way. I get down there. Let's see. One here. One here. And one here. And I only have two pieces, so I need just one more. Something small. Let's see here. Red, maybe. Purple. Ooh, here's a nice little peach one. All right. So there, there, and there. All right. So there's my little signatures. And I'm going to put them together like that and see how fat they are. See if I've got enough little pieces of paper put in there and I bet it's still wet huh yeah and it didn't get covered very well all right so I am gonna put that in there and I feel like it's doesn't have enough so let me grab some more papers well I put another layer of white paint on here. Gigi. Am I making it too thin? Is that what it is? I usually don't use paint for this kind of thing. So let me know if I could do it a better way. 
Okay. Let that dry while I pick out some more papers. And it seems like I need quite a few more papers, so let's see what we have here. Another one of those. That's a nice one. Something different, I think. That one. I'm looking for the little babies. Using up the little 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 bits first. That one's kind of cool. I might stamp a little bit on these just to give them some interest. Let's see here. Seems like I need a little bit more red. So I'll grab one of those. One of those. Ooh, there's another peach one. Cute little ones. This blue would be nice. I think there's too much pink in there. White. Got a lot of this blue. I'll have to cut that down quite a bit, but that's fine. Ooh, here's another little pink one. Seems like I need quite a bit of stuff here. I want it fairly filled out. Another, ooh, look at this blue. That's a cool little blue. That's an interesting one. And a purple. And that one. And white. That's tiny. Okay, so let me cut this blue one. Oops, there's two. Cut the blue one in half. And I need my little measuring paper to make sure my pages aren't too big. That one needs trimming just slightly. So I guess I should have uh, done a little bit more of this, got more prepared. I'm going to put this one in here so all of them have the same amount. Okay. So I need quite a bit off of this one. in the wet paint. Oops. I got quiet. I did. I got real quiet. Serious busy business cut trimming down paper, right? That pink is kind of nice. I 
I was hoping this wouldn't take me a whole lot of time, but I'm fussing, so of course it's going to take me a little longer than I'd hoped. I still need, I need to show happy mail. I need to show happy mail. Hello, Linda. And I've got these long sleeves on and I'm hot. It wasn't really, it was cold this morning. Chilly. It was chilly. Can't say it was cold. It was chilly. Okay. So let's get these papers folded in three piles and I will add them to the other signatures. Moving along here. Getting a move on. And I managed to get, oh, no. I have this extra one, so let me put that here, and let me sandwich all these in here somewhere, mix them up a little bit. quiet again. I can't do random and talk at the same time. What's wrong with this picture, right? What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Alrighty. And then that on the outside, that one there. Open. Okay, get in there. Now let's see how fat they are now. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Might have to trim some of this off, but we will see. All right. And I can see that's still wet. Um, where can I put this? Get it out of my way. So I want to show happy mail while well, this thing is drying. Well, it's not drying, is it? Hopefully it's got enough stuff on it that I can not see the writing through this paper. I feel like I still won't be able to. All right. I will worry about that in a minute. All right. Get this out of the way. Put this someplace so I don't get wet paint on stuff. And 
don't want these to fly open. Where can I put them? Stick them right there. All right. Happy mail. Happy mail. Hey, BJ. So I did get a big old box from Aunt Sandra for my birthday. Aunt Sandra knows what I like. Aunt Sandra was spending some time with my Uncle Vern in Houston. And they were cleaning out some some stuff while she was there. So I got all kinds of treasures that were found and saved from the garbage. My Uncle Vern travels everywhere. He loves to ride his motorcycles. If you're watching Uncle Vern, hi, 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 hello, hello. Um, he likes to ride his motorcycles all over the place. He's got motorcycles in India and China uh, and Peru and he's got friends everywhere. He's got friends everywhere. He goes all over the place and so here's an envelope pattern that I don't think I have seen. And this one I thought was really cool too. Look at that. So my Uncle Vern is all over the place and he's he worked for the airlines forever. So he likes to travel. So he spent a lot of time in India and China and Peru and all kinds of other places. Vietnam and I mean he goes everywhere. And so I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I'm sure it's Chinese. Um, it's a whole newspaper something. I think is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but I really like it. So they found a lot of road maps. This one's Delhi. This one's approved by the government of India. And here's all the listings of all the places. And here's the map. Ooh, isn't that cool? I love all this color. This is Delhi. Tourist road map. Uh, just, ah. Uh, love that. Love it. Love it. This one is a road guide to India. And again, it's got the places in it. And then the map. And this one's a big map. Let's see if I can open it up at all to see. <laughs> Maps are huge, aren't they? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Here's some of it. It's the whole map of India. Isn't that neat? And I'm sure he got them in India. I just... Hi, Shelly. Love that. Love it. Love it. So that one, Delhi. And that one's India. This one is France. And I think this one's an older one. I thought I saw a date on it. But I could be wrong. And so France is just a regular road map. Um, it's a little worn. Here's Paris. Love the maps. Yes, we do love the maps. So isn't that cool? I, uh, yes, very cool. Very, very cool. 
All right. So that's the France one. Sandra sent me this whole big box of stuff for my birthday. I'm not showing all of the stuff um, she sent. She sent a ton of stuff. I will be visiting that box and coming back to it because um, I'll be making some stamps soon. This one is Paris. I just think this one is really cool too. They're all really neat. Just love them. Yep. Paris. And another one of Paris. It just. <laughs> Look at all the color to that. Ah. Ah. Love it. Another one of another road map of France. Here is so it must be France as well. Look at and look at how cool that lady is right there. She's gonna have to go on something. But I just love all the colors. This one's Paris too. Paris. Another one of Paris. And the Metro. Here is a map of Beijing. So, of course, this one's all in Chinese. Okay, how do we open it? All in Chinese. And it is another full-sized map hello Patricia it's from Aunt Sandra Aunt Sandra knows all the stuff I like <laughs> she sent me uh, she sent me all kinds of stuff bottle labels and um, um, candy wrappers <laughs> so and I have got these two I just wanted to, to mention I found these two at the Dollar Tree um, they are self adhesive stencils I thought they were really cool I only found these two or I would have picked up I would have picked up all of them that I found I only found two of them um, and I couldn't find any more of those because I I thought that these would re be really cool for and I'd never seen them before so that is that and then is Anne still here because I got happy mail from Anne I opened it and it had this great feather washi that I'm trying to save and I have difficulty saving washi. So Anne sent me this wonderful, look at all the fish on the envelope. <laughs> I think she made those stamps. Of course she made those stamps. She sent me one of those stamps. So happy birthday month. Happy birth month. The stencils are cool, right? And so she's got a, what do you call this? Um, what do you call those? Brad? Brad? Brad things? Brad? And so she um, has this Brad with all this fun stuff. And I didn't open this. I didn't open this. This is washi taped. And I don't know how to open it without, maybe if I just undo the bread thingy, right? The fish, are, the fish are cool. 
definitely. The fish are cool. I didn't really want to take it apart, but I don't think I can get through. I don't think I can see what's in here unless I do. She made this little envelope with kitty cat washi tape. Oh, and an ATC. Oh. I didn't open all this. I <laughs> she got I got a pack of these cards at Dollar Tree too. They're exactly the same ones as, as these. Exactly the same style. I recognize those. And what's in the other side here? Oh more cards. How cool. How cool. So it doesn't sound like she's here. She did not sign the cards. So I'm going to have to put her name on them just so I can put them in my collection. How neat is that? So let me... I'm not going to put those here. Um, because I really like the way that this went together. Hopefully I can get it back together. Maybe not. It's going to take me a while. But she sent all kinds of cool bits and pieces. Painted papers. Magazine pages. Book pages. And this is the kind of, it's, it was funny that I already started doing something similar to this. Um, I was gathering these kinds of things together. Probably going to the back. And she sent bleeding tissue paper. Bits of bleeding tissue paper. I've got some that Mitts sent. So we're going to have to do something with the bleeding tissue paper. We might do some of that stuff on Tuesday. Because uh, I'm putting together a journal. Like a Anything Goes book. A smaller one. Signature with some different kinds of papers in it. So I might just use that. And then a bunch of these, I want to say it's Japanese, but I could be wrong. Some papers, it looks like it's a textbook of some sort. Some music, just all kinds of fun little bits of paper. A foam, a foam bit there. And all kinds of stuff. And I might just put this all together in a little book. And do some bleeding tissue paper in it. Okay, hi Vix. So, thank you Miss Ann. Sorry you're still not here. I should have done it earlier when I saw you. But I was in the middle of folding my papers. So thank you, thank you. It's fabulous. And I don't want to lose any of these little bits. So let me put them in the envelope so I don't lose anything before I get a chance to put it all away. All right. So I'll be playing with those stencils. Oh, you are here, Anne. Yes, yes. Glad you liked. Yes, yes. I am right here. Um, she is right here. Thank you, Anne. They are fabulous. Thank you. You didn't need to send me anything. Um, but I do appreciate it. It's fun stuff. That's fun stuff. So I will be doing something with that kind of thing. All right, so... It's funny that you would send all those different kinds of papers because, like I said, my, with my nonsense going on, I am creating a, a just an art journal 
uh, to work in. And I wanted to use pieces of paper, things that um, don't really mean a whole lot to me. You know, I can mess it all up. It's an art journal that I can do whatever, and it doesn't matter if it turns out or if it doesn't turn out. It's just pieces of paper. I've got tracing paper here. This is a piece of my wax paper that I put between painted papers and between pages to let them dry. And I thought that was really kind of interesting. So I thought I would just put a piece of that wax paper in this. I've got scrapbook paper, pieces of notebook paper, envelope, ledger paper, a piece of calendar, maps, um, this is tissue paper that I've managed to bend. Different kinds of drawing paper. Two different kinds of drawing paper. It's um, dictionary, graph paper, scrapbook paper, the children's writing tablet, a menu, coffee dyed paper, popcorn bag. Hi, Kathleen. Vellum coloring book. Well, I guess it's not really a coloring book page. It's more of a children's playbook, workbook thing. Wrapping paper. This is a piece of paper that I did the video. I did the video for wine stains and coffee stains. Um, and I had this. I've had it for a very long time. And I thought, you know, I might as well just put it in this book and see what happens. Brown paper bag, a doily, a magazine page, and a book page. So what I'm going to do, let me put a scrapbook paper. Let me just start arranging these papers randomly. And I'm just going to sew them together in a signature. And I'm not sure if I am going to make more signatures, signatures to go together. Or if I am just going to... Let me put some of these smaller bits and pieces in here. Or if I'm just going to use this one signature and put it in a bind it together, I'm going to put that in the center, I think. At the end, I thought, you know, let me just work with one signature for now and see what happens. Let me put that. No, let me put, I want to use this tracing paper. I want to put a face on the page on the other side. And that one right there will be good. I want to put a face and then I want to use the tracing paper and just kind of mess around with the face. Let me put that, that, graph paper, let's put this in here somewhere. That's a good place for it. And that there. That there. I want that in the center because I like the trees. Put the trees together. And let's see here. Where should we put this doily? Here? I kind of want some color. Put some color behind it. I don't want it on white. Oh, right there would be good. All right. All right, so I cut them all 
and I folded them all to save some time and I just wanted all kinds of different kinds of papers together and you had Shannon and Rosemary both have, have insect stamps Is that the one you're, you're thinking of? It's a B? So I am going to sew this together and just have it handy to glue things into, put a little paint on, to stamp, stencil. It's an anything goes book with different kinds of paper and it's going to be a really thick signature really really thick signature so and I'm just going to use this black it's crochet thread just to sew them together so that um, this this one I got at Hobby Lobby and so everybody knows Hobby Lobby right now I went Friday I was looking for something that did I didn't find and Hobby Lobby is selling a ton of stamps. Most of them are like 75% off. More than half of their stamps they were selling. Um, I went to two different Hobby Lobbies. I went to the both of them that I have in my area. And both of them were selling their stamps like crazy. Um, I went nuts with Hobby Lobby stamps. I have to say, I went nuts. Uh, I got the birds. The birds are usually nine dollars. I got them for two twenty-five. Lobster, um, Vicky, isn't that funny? Vicky and I were discussing this earlier. Um, I found it in a calendar and she has it printed off. A zebra for a dollar twenty-five. Um, typewriter. This one was not. This one is nine ninety-nine usually. I got it for two fifty. And the polka dots as well. Love the teapot, yes. Um, giraffe, stamp, hummingbird, sheep, a dollar thirty seven. And I I usually don't do rabbits, but it was really cute, and I'm thinking I want to do an Alice in Wonderland, so I might use him as as a rabbit. But anyway, um, yeah, I do not need stamps. The hummingbird. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what did I do with my thread and my... I got all excited and I put it down somewhere. Now I don't know where it is. Hey, Colleen. <laughs> it looks sketchy cool, yeah. What did I do with... I hope I don't... I hope I didn't drop it on the floor and I'm going to step on it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. All right. All right. So I am just going to sew this together in a signature. Someone asked me, and I have not gotten to my comments. I, I apologize. Friday I was all over the in the office and, and going crazy. So um, and Saturday too. Um, 
I sew my signature together. I work in my signature. I do what I want to do with it. And then I sew the signatures together into a cover or the single signature, whatever I want to do. I sometimes will take out the stitching that I have, punch new holes to sew them into the cover that they're going to be in. And then sometimes I leave the threads in. It just depends on if I painted the threads in there, um, what I feel like doing. I've done it both ways. Sometimes they're double stitched. It doesn't really, you know, I don't mind that so much. And so I, I do it both ways. I can't remember exactly what the question was, but I will be getting to my my replies as soon as I can. I think I'm going to have people all over the apartment tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get to the computer. Um, I do apologize in advance for all my delays and, and, and such. I really appreciate all your comments and things. Um, I'm having some, some issues. Okay, I can't get the needle all the way through I have some stuff going on and it's taken up a whole lot more time than I would like. Okay, that poked a hole through places I didn't want a hole poked. So let's get it. Okay, something is really, really not letting me. So I'm just going to feed them through a little bit at a time. Something's not lining up. There's a lot of papers here. There is a lot of papers here. So I'm just going to feed the needle through them a little bit at a time. There we go. All right. I don't know how many papers there were, but there was a lot. I didn't count them. Um, I just kept adding, thinking this would be cool, and this would be cool, and this would be fun, and so just kept adding stuff. I can count them later. All right, so I'm pulling tight just so that they're all secure. One tail on one side, one tail on the other, and just make a knot. And then I am ready to do stuff with this signature, which will be fun. All right. All righty. That was easy. Hi, Jamie. You always blame the cat when you can't find something. So this is an extra thick, extra thick, just a fun, a fun, different kinds of papers, different kinds of things to use. Um, I can use it to glue things in, and it's just a junk journal signature that I can mess around with and... not have to worry about ruining anything. Um, I may never finish it. I just had the urge to get something together. So I can play in this like I do like Kate. Um, my Anything Goes book. And so <laughs> your cat hid your TV remote and never found it. That's hilarious. Um, so it's just like an anything goes book. I can do whatever I want to and use up paint in here or or whatever. 
and I may never finish it. Okay, hello Colleen. Um, and it's really thick, so once I start getting stuff on it, it may not need any more signatures. I might just put it in a cover all by itself. So I will be working in this um, Twenty six pieces of paper. Twenty six pieces of paper. And it is um, it's about seven inches tall by four and a quarter ish. A little bit more than four to four and a quarter with all the creep. So okay, so just kinds of all kinds of different kinds of paper. All right, so I am going back to this cover, and it looks pretty good. Let me. Yeah, you can't see really through it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with this piece of handmade paper. And then and I am going to let's see. We don't want that fold in on the cover so I'm going to cut it off there and it's probably way too wide I could hmm I could do that I have not usually I don't usually cover my books like that But why not? Why not? Let's wing it today. Let's wing it. How did I bind what? What did I bind? So I am just using a glue stick because this is such a small little project it really doesn't need very strong glue and it's just mulberry paper so it's really thin really really thin we're going to do that And then we are going to fold it over. And I usually, like I said, I don't usually cover my covers this way. So this is, um, this may not work. <laughs> Spoiler alert here. We may have a great big huge mess at the end of this. But I just want an easy, fast, fast way to do this. All right, so I am going to trim off these corners just a little bit. Just like that. Okay. I, I used a three-hole pamphlet stitch just to stitch the papers together and I am going to
cut off those. I'm going to use the three hole pamphlet stitch for this one too. So there's not two thicknesses of that. Just like that. And then some glue. Oops. See, I'm making a mess already. Some glue on the top here. Pull that paper down. Do the same on the other side. Kathy. Okay, so there's the cover. There's the cover. Just a cute little soapbox cover. And what side do I want? I think I want that little leaf right there on the front. I guess it doesn't matter because there really isn't an up and a down for these papers. Nothing really going on here. Okay, so if I put all these little papers in here, and they do need to be trimmed just a little bit, they stick out way too much here. Um, that blue one is really horrible. So I'm just going to chop it off. Kind of like that. Before I sew them so that hopefully they'll kind of settle in different places. All right. And what kind of thread should I use? You know, Aunt Sandra gave me a bunch of this silky thread. And I might as well use it. I use that one. I don't like the gray. Is there a green? Not really. Gold, dark gray, blue. I don't want this dark green. I think I'm going to go with, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, it's not very strong, but these papers are not very strong either. I'm going to double it, um, and it should be fine. And if I have to re-sew it, if it breaks, um, I will do that. It's not very strong. I know it's it's machine and throw and it's 100% rayon, not very strong at all. Um, I'm going to go with this light one. I'm going to go with the light one. It'll be fine for these little tiny mulberry papers. It'll be fine. And I am going to double it. You need an Aunt Sandra. <laughs> I'm not sharing mine. I'm sorry. I'm not. I love the way they look, too. So I am going to double it. And you know, I probably should punch the holes in it, in the cover at least, even though it is fairly small. 
Do I have a book that I can do that with? Doubling the thread. Slippery. It really is slippery. All right, I'm putting the needle right here. Um, something to punch some holes into. Uh oh. Does that go here? Probably. Let's keep the signatures together. Let me use a pencil. Kind of mark where I want my holes. I don't really need a large. I need three sets of holes. And I am going to guesstimate for the signatures. I'm not really going to worry about it too much. It's such a small book. It should be fine. Let's see. Is that the middle? It pretty much is the middle. And let me get my thumbtack. Hi, Helen. And I'm going to just punch the holes in here. because it might be too hard to get through with the needle. so small you're having a hard time seeing it I apologize I was putting together the other signature all the little papers and stuff and I remembered about these wonderful papers that I wanted to do something with and like I said I'm having a hard time using them because I love them and I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin them so I'm gonna go do a small book first and then I'm going to show myself how much I love looking at these papers in this book. Yep, I am. I'm going to show myself that exact thing. And then, and then I'll get the courage to do one that's a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bigger than that, and get myself to use up some of this stuff. So I am guesstimating where to put my hole guesstimating again uh oh I might not have put the hole down far enough to catch most of these papers oh well Oh well, I guess it's done now. Live and learn. And then the bottom. It is pretty small, isn't it? It's pretty small. And then go through the
Sorry. I'm going to feed them through again because they keep moving. It's so small, I'm afraid that trying to use a clip or something is going to really just get in the way. Which usually happens to me anyway. All right, there we go. That's close enough. All right. All right. Tighten it up. Not tight enough. Hopefully the string won't break. There we go. And I have to tie the knot because the needle won't slip out. Sorry, can't look at chat. Just a second. Trying to keep it tight. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm using a three hole pamphlet stitch. Okay, so that's the first signature in there. Let's get another piece of thread. I'm trying to do the three hole pamphlet stitch with a double thickness of this rayon thread that's not very strong. But I did not punch the holes into my paper, my signatures, just the, the cover. All right, so guesstimating again, the center here, guesstimating, guesstimating, I am a guesstimator. It goes through the center here. Now I do have videos showing how I do three hole pamphlet stitch. If you want to see the videos, pretty easy. Um, I do mostly guesstimate and I need to do a video where I'm not I'm not really guesstimating I'm actually measuring well but you know time time gets away from me and I don't get anything I don't get as much as I would like to done and this month is going to be rough for that. Very, very rough. And through the center hole. This is kind of cool. Here's the center of my signature here. There we go. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. It's tiny. I think I'm going to like it. Okay, my papers are moving all over the place. Alright, go through the signature, or go through the cover first, and then Try to find the hole here. Because they're going all over the place. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to go through the paper signature here. There we go. That worked better. I'm trying to do them both at the same time. That was not working for me, but one at a time is, is okay. Okay. So now I need to tighten it up. And tie it. Glue on my fingers from doing the cover. <laughs> They're sticky. 
They're a little sticky. And now the last one. Two signatures down. One more to go. And we have another half an hour, so I have got, what have I got? I've got another little project, another Another book to put together, kind of. Folded those papers badly. Poor little babies. All right. Okay, my holes are over here. Center of my signature. All righty. My thimble. I always poke my hole. Thank you. Yes, the thread is really nice. Hopefully, it'll stay strong. It won't break while I'm looking through this book. Hopefully. I'm going to go through the cover first and then. The signature. And then down to the bottom. You know what I could do? I said I might um, do a little bit of stamping on these papers. I might have to do that. I probably should have done it before. I couldn't have done it before. I didn't have them sewn into signatures. Maybe I'll do a little bit of stamping in this little thing. Add some interest to it. Okay, I need this tail on the other side. All right, tighten it up. There we go. We are almost there. Hello, paper obsessed. Do I know your name? Hello, fishies. <laughs> oh, and it broke. Got to do that one again. Let me get another piece of thread. I pulled that too tight. Let's try it again. Of course, it has to do that on the last signature. The last signature. Okay, trying it again. I don't have any wax. 
I have never waxed anything. Oh, I guess I do have a bit of a candle. I could have used that. Oh, well, I've started now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Cross your fingers, guys. Cross your fingers. It'll be fine. Renee, Renee, hello, Renee. I'm going to go through the cover first and then through the paper signature. Hopefully that will keep it from breaking a second time. Okay. All right, we are there. So let's tighten it up. Gently this time. Gently, gently. Make sure it's nice and tight. And tie the knot. Doesn't seem like it's tight enough. I guess it is. All right, it is. All righty. So now it's all sewn in. All these little threads out of the way. The papers kind of moved around a little bit. <laughs> Glue book master. <laughs> um, that's funny. I don't know. I'm obsessed with, with, with glue books. I don't know about... I think the glue book is the master. So there is... The little mulberry paper book. Isn't that fun? All right. So, um, I think it is really kind of cool. So, I'm going to get out some black ink. Should I, I should do black. Um, with all the different colors and stuff. And some of my smaller handmade stamps. Here's all the leaves. Got to do a leaf. Got to do some circles. Some circles. Um, some stenciling too. And I want my little washers. Uh oh, things are gonna fall. Where? Oh, that one would be fun to use. And circle. And where's my little the one that I really like? Where is it? Where has it gone to? Why can't I find it? Oh, here's this little one. 
like that one. I'm looking for this one and the other little one. Where's that one? There it is. Underneath it all. Underneath it all. There we go. All right. Here's another circle that I can use. All right. Get those out of the way. All the way out of the way. And let's just stamp some stuff in here. I already got ink all over myself. I already have ink. Hey, Susan. All right. So I am going to find a light colored page and just do some random stamping in different places. like that and let's do and some circles I am, I'm with you right there, Renee. I only watch the com commercials. <laughs> I am not a big fan. Ooh, that kind of looks interesting. Let's put another circle right there. You know, you watch the commercials the next day on YouTube. That's a good way to do it, too. Like that. Let's put one over here. Let's put... Actually, let's open that up and put one there. Oops, that didn't make, that didn't connect. Let's try that again. Let's put that underneath there so it will connect. It was pretty easy. I just put three signatures of this mulberry paper in, in a little tiny soapbox. <laughs> Just a little tiny soapbox. So that's probably enough with that. I'm going to put another one right there for good measure. And then I'm going to use this little one. Just go to some, just some different places. And just stamp in there. Little triangles. I don't have my little triangles, do I? Oh, here it is. Here's, here's, here's a triangle. I can use that one. You 
need to dig out your O-rings. You definitely do need... I've got a whole nother... I, I got a bunch more. I went to Ace and got a whole bunch more to make some more stamps with. Maybe I'll do that sometime this month. If I have a chance, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a lot of videos. Um, I'm going to have people coming and going constantly. It's going to drive me crazy. You know, really crazy. Crazy-er. Bye, Kate. Yes, if you have questions for me, please put them in caps so I can see which way was I going. I don't remember which way I was going. Let's go in this way. So I can see them. I don't always see everything. Oh, use them and rubber cord to make necklaces for Palmer, Palmer clay. That would be that would be fun. It seems to be taking the ink fairly well. Um, I'm not fighting it too much. I'm using an archival pigment color box ink, and it seems to be. It seems to be okay. Bye, Susan. Seems to be doing pretty good. Okay, which way was I going? I went that way. I think I've been through the whole thing with that one, so let me use a little bit of this one. If I can get it inked up real well, it would help. this one right here for some reason. I need to use some of that leaf too. All right, I just had the, the need to do that one right there. Had to do that one right there. Hi, Marky. Oh, you had you were gluing and collaging the entire weekend, and you're proud to say you like what you did. That's perfect. That's wonderful. Glad to hear it. Yay, Marky. Okay, so I'm going to go to the triangle now. 
It's triangle time. Ooh, that one works really well. I could be getting it well inked too. I might not have been getting the other ones as well inked up. Okay, did I get enough triangles? Doesn't seem like it, does it? And I want to do some of this leaf. Let's find a nice, a nice one for the leaf. Almost, almost run out of time. Ooh, I like the leaf. <gasps> oh dear, I really like the leaf. I do like the leaf. Hope I'm going the right way. I get turned around. It's so small, I don't know which way I'm going. so small. Marky lives in Holland. How fabulous. Oops. The leaf stamp is one of my handmade stamps. It is, um, I'll have to do a short video on the, the foam stamps. I don't think I did a short video on those. I use the thin children's fun foam to make these stamps. And I have quite a few of the, the leaves, the leaves. Let me use some of that one. So they're not all the same. I have a ton of fun foam things done. There's a triangle. I should probably do that triangle a little bit too. I've got many different leaves to use. Oh, there's the other triangle. And that leaf. And that triangle. Oh dear. Yes, I just use Fun Foam to make 
my stamps. And I have a couple videos with the Fun Foam stamps. How I do that. It's really easy. It's fun. Oh, I didn't get enough ink on that at all. Let's try that again. That's a little bit better. I think the stamp is too big. So let's find a place for the triangles. Right there. So I think we're getting, oh look how cool that is. We're getting to be about where I need to stop. I was going to do another junk journal type of thing. Anybody interested? I was going to do an Oreo box with some other other little papers in there. Um, anybody interested in doing a junk journal type art journal? Um, these are just papers that I found in my room here. Different various things that I used. And I have done it with larger pieces of paper too scrapbook paper, painted papers, um, drawing paper and watercolor paper and sketchbook paper just all kinds of different weights of paper just to see what happens when you use certain things on them glue and different kinds of paint and watercolors and that kind of thing. This one is the bleeding tissue paper. So we'll get into playing with some of these journals. Then they're just different types of paper. I just put different types of paper together with three hole pamphlet stitch just to play with, just to mess around with, just to see what happens. Um, so it's not, if it doesn't turn out, I haven't lost a whole lot. So, um, So I'm going to be working in those signatures, in this signature, and um, on Tuesday, I will stream on Tuesday, and we'll use some of these signatures. I got a new present. I, I bought myself a new, a new toy. I was bad. I was bad. It was my birthday, so I just did it. I I broke down and I got the scribble sticks. So I am going, I haven't even opened them yet. I'm going to open them and play and use some of the new stamps and glue some stuff in. So here is, oh, I need to put something on the cover. I need to put a circle on the cover. I want that circle. I want this circle on the cover. Yes, we could do something like journaling by fives or something in there and it will be a lot of fun. I am going to open this up. Okay, so that double, that repositionable tape um, doesn't have any stick left to it, so it doesn't want to stay on the thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to change the tape out. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do, is I am just going to play around with some paints, some color, some stamps, some stencils some gluing. Just going to have some fun. I'm going to be relaxing because I'm messing around with 
management and all that stuff. Um, I just need a quick distraction when I get away from all the other nonsense. So I'm just having a few. We're just doing art journaling this month. I think that's I'm just going to take it easy and do some fun little things. So here's the book with a bunch of stamping in it and little papers. And I might do another one of these. I've got some more of these little soap boxes and some more papers because I think it's kind of fun and it's interesting. And um, hopefully I can get myself to use some of my other papers. I need to start using my stuff. I'm not sure. I think this is the cover. That sticks out too much, so I'm going to have to trim that off. It got sewn in sideways, I think. Where's my scissors? I'm going to trim it off right now. There we go. Easy as that, so that the, the little pages are in the book. So thank you everyone for spending some time with me making a little tiny handmade paper book. Get some stamping in there. So it is it turned out pretty well. Of course, it won't show. Turned out pretty good for not measuring it all. And we've got the stamping and the papers in here. Just a random little book to enjoy the paper. That's all that is. I've got ink all over my fingers now. I wonder how I get so dirty. So thank you, everyone. Enjoy the Super Bowl. I will see you on Tuesday, and we'll just do some more relaxing. We might make some more books. I'm in the making books mood. I just am. I want to use my stuff. This one is so tiny. So that is that one. I might have to even sign it and date it. And what is today? Four. I always put the day first. Um, so now it's going to be like April. There. That's, that's better. It's got two dates. It's got two dates. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I should have thought about that before I did the first one. So that is little oh it is kind of cute I like the colors they're all nice and muted and and stuff so bye bye everyone thanks for spending time with me and um, I will see you on Tuesday I'll do some art journaling some painting some fun stuff some relaxing stuff everybody stay warm I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.